Well, I came to uh, Benjamin Britten's music uh, through um, my uh, school and church production of Noise Flude when I was uh, in uh, fourth grade, so when I was like 10. Um, uh, Fluda, maybe you say. Um, and um, th there was uh, we, the production in our, in our w combining the school and the church, and, um, and it was a kind of huge event um, for us. And my older brother and I were, I was an otter, my older brother was an elk. I never forgot these, the, the hymns and the various pieces that form this uh, wonderful um, opera play um, have never left me since. And, um, and so in, in this film that I've just uh, made, we wanted to recreate, uh, I, I, we recreated some, some moments that I remember from this production, and, um, and then I started to include Britain music throughout the whole film and really set the film to Britain's music. Um, the Young Person's Guide to the Orchestra really became the musical backbone of our story. And as we went along, I added more and more Britain music. Some pieces uh, that I knew already, uh, Midsummer Night's Dream, um, and some I had never heard before, some music written for children in particular that I had not heard before. Um, so it became uh, sort of the, the central musical uh, element of this uh, story. Um, you know, I've always uh, loved Britain's music, um, and um, it's uh, and you know this is a composer who I think um, uh, has such a a, a broad um, range of work and such uh, uh, power and drama. Um, and um, you know, I recently went to the War Requiem. Uh, in New York at Lincoln Center, and it was a packed house, and it was the audience reaction was just um, uh, spectacular. And I ran into several people I knew who had been there by chance, that you know, the same day, and uh, people were still sort of uh, reeling from it. Um, you know, this is music of a of a special and singular power.